It's Mother's Day, May 2023. And for Mother's Day, because Denise is gonna race her Porsche next weekend, we got her some special things. What did we get you? Um, I've got the Pilot Sport S's, four of them, two on the front, two on the back, brand new. And I also got the Fab Speed uh, exhaust running from back here, the lower pipe into the two mufflers and uh, also have the- But wait, tips. there's more. And for Mother's Day, what is more special than- Oh, <laughs> tire shine so, and cleaning solution also. So yeah, we gotta get what, inside and outside the what tires. What a great Mother's Day gift. <laughs> you, 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 can't, oh. you, you can't have a better husband than me. <laughs> then tire shine, four new Michelins, and a Fab Speed exhaust. Yeah. So we're upgrading this uh, Boxster. This is a 2004 S Special Edition, and we're going to put a Fab Speed Max Flow exhaust on it. And. Uh, I bought the exhaust from Pelican. It came in right away. Comes in a box with a bunch of foam. And uh, comes with no installation instructions. Let me repeat that. Comes with no installation instructions. Also comes with not enough fasteners to install the muffler. So that's our starting point. But what I want to show you is the first thing that you do is you have to take off these uh, rear cat pipes because you're replacing the exhaust up to the forward cat. And um, the problem is that in the fab speed packaging, these fasteners are part of the uh, existing Porsche exhaust and Fab Speed does not give you in their packaging and of course this is a brand new package that I received from Pelican any of those bolts now the top bolt right there you have to reuse and um, that bolt is I don't know some people on the internet call it the death bolt um, you really got to put a lot of PB blaster on it and let it soak. You can kind of see it right there. And then what I've done is I've, I've uh, put some uh, anti-seize on it. But it, for some reason, that bolt up top there gets very uh, rusted and you run the risk of breaking it off, according to other folks. This car is a Texas car, and so it didn't see a lot of salt or anything like that. So, um, didn't have too much problems, but it is a little pain in the butt to get to. And so the next thing you do is once you get those existing cat, back cats off, you put these two pipes in there. And uh, I'm gonna say from Fab Speed, they marked this one R2 so you don't get them mixed up. And uh, I don't think I, in here, you can kind of see up there, it says L1. So they're marked. Now, with no directions, it doesn't tell you really how to, uh, how you're gonna install the next thing. Now, I watched a video. There's only, you know, everybody out there is showing these Fab Speed videos. Where they're, oh, it sounds so good, you know. No one's showing you how to install the thing, except for one guy. And uh, he did a pretty good job because it doesn't tell you how to mount or install this exhaust. So it comes with these clamps right here. And without instructions, you don't know how this installs. You're supposed to be um, psychic. Uh, but this one gentleman on YouTube showed uh, what he did. He First thing he did, I didn't do it. He pulled this bracket off right here. I didn't do that. I basically took the rear, um, stainless steel housing off and then had my wife 
reach her hand inside here. And um, from there, we took off these two on each side. And then what we did is I pounded off with a piece of block of wood. There's this, that's a special tool right there, that block of wood. And what you do is you come over here and uh, this little joint right here, I just knocked it off of that side. And that allows you to drop this gigantic muffler assembly out. So just kind of kind of giving you a couple steps here, all right? I'm not trying to show you how to do it. I'm showing you what you get and the lack of information you get. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do here is because I don't have these two bolts, I gotta figure out something and we'll figure that out. And I'm gonna get a little farther along and then I'll return to the video. So when the Fab Speed kit came from uh, Pelican, it uh, was lacking the bolts that go into these uh, exhaust flange. So, but it did come with the nuts. And it came with six nuts, but no bolts. So what I did is I had to go search in my Porsche parts catalog and find out what size bolt went in there and um, then find them. So I did find them and there's the part numbers. This is a Dorman part. Uh, 980435. I found them at Advanced Autos and uh, bought two. They come four to a pack so I bought two packs. Even uh, after I got done replacing this, um, let me show you, the top bolt up there, the existing one only came through the nut, maybe not even one thread length. And so that bolt that was in there prior and in these bottom two, either someone had done something on exhaust and put the wrong bolts back in there. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened, but uh, these are the right bolts called out in the Porsche catalog. These are um, 35 millimeter long number eight uh, bolts. And so I'm just getting around to replacing them right now. I had in place a number, a, a, a M7 bolt and I'm getting ready to replace it again. Here's a number eight. Uh, as a temporary measure just to get the, the uh, exhaust uh, held in place. I thought they were M7s, but they're not. There's these, uh, these uh, M8 bolts. Up here, you can see there's an existing bolt in place. And it, it doesn't really even come out of the nut. That was the a bolt that was existing in this exhaust. And again, that's why I think someone was in here before me, but we'll get it all fixed up right. Okay, so we've kind of cinched. We, we, you leave everything loose, you know. This is how I've decided that I'm gonna put the clamps on so I've got access to having a, being able to take the thing off. These are um, 16 millimeter, I believe. These four right here, that's 13. Everything seems to be 13. These are 11 millimeter, all right. I have no idea. So, uh, uh, speed put these brackets on. No idea what they're for, you know. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is right up in there is a bolt for this back bar. And I think just for the shits and grins, I'm going to come up with a bracket that grabs that bolt 